Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the New York City Arena here in Midtown Manhattan for our main event. 12 rounds in the welterweight division between Miguel Cotto and Victor Ortiz. Miguel Cotto's ring walk, not exactly full of fanfare or intensity. Ortiz is showing no concern for what's about to happen. This is a guy that is just relaxed and calm as could be for the task at hand as he makes his way down to the ring. Introducing first, his professional record consists of 35 wins, 28 knockouts, and two defeats. Coming out of Gagos, Miguel His adversary, his professional record consists of 28 wins, 22 by way of knockout, and two losses. Fighting on a box nine, Vicious Victor Ortiz. Okay, guys. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch gloves. So we are underway here. Round one, scheduled for 12. Going up against Kodo tonight is an opponent who absolutely can bring the power. Yeah, but world champions are not made of just power punches. Kodo wants to show that he can do more than just punch. Back and forth exchange. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Ortiz is showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. Able to get rid of that one. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Keeping him honest with the double jab up top. Ortiz has done a good job there, offensively scoring with that left hand. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Miguel Cotto. Two good jabs by Miguel Cotto. Cotto's blocking ability is doing well for him there. A well-placed left hand up top. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Unbelievable pace here tonight. Both guys have no plans of having this fight go far. I'm sure the frame of reference for most is Hagler Hearns. Yeah, you wonder if it's going to live up to that so far, so good. Nice two-punch combo by Miguel Cotto. Cotto's impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Ortiz is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. One, two jabs up top. So they close out that round. Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, I know you watch uh, very closely how these trainers go about their business. You were under the tutelage of one of the true legends of the game, the great custom model. Yeah, I mean, I was fortunate. Quite honestly, those opportunities, situations, probably don't exist anymore because we've lost a lot of those, you know, really great trainers and managers that boxing with their whole life. I spent seven years with custom model, and they learned the nuts and bolts from a physical, technical point of view of what's important to give to a fighter, but the psychological part, to understand the pressures that a fighter is under, the fear that a fighter deals with. And if you don't understand that, all the other things don't mean anything, because you have to understand how a fighter is feeling to understand why he's behaving or not behaving a certain way. Miguel Cotto's three-punch combination there is going to impress the judges. 
Scores up top with a left. Cotto's punch didn't come close. He digs in with an uppercut after blocking that shot away. that left hand lands flush with the combination upstairs off to the side a little swing and a miss going upstairs he gets hit but he gives it right back right hand over the top very accurate with it Cotto's defense is paying off now. Nice jab there by Miguel Cotto. Cotto's swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Ortiz is getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. That right hand is becoming a crutch. He can just lean on it now. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Cotto's got that accuracy, and it paid off in the last round. You're not winning. You're speeding. I need to throw more than one punch out there, okay? Nice work out. Keep fighting smart. Easy. Don't take a break with it. Keep going. And round number three is underway. Cotto's giving us something to think about early on in this fight here, but his opponent has even more to think about. He has established the jab already. Yes, he has established the jab. And now his opponent has to think about moving his head so he can get past it. Targeting that head with the combination punching. Head and butt! Head and butt! Miguel Cotto's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Cotto's proving to be elusive. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Snapping jabs by Miguel Cotto. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Ortiz is left now getting into the mix. Left hook scores upstairs, as does the uppercut. Right to the head with that right. Cotto's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. So doubling up the jab by Miguel Cotto. Cotto's hand speed is right now the difference. Teddy, you got faster hands, you're halfway home. Yeah, that's a great, great asset to have, is to be able to do that. But there is a way to negate it, to counter it, and that's to time the punches. Timing can beat speed. Super two-punch combo. Oh, what a left hand. And this round comes to an end. Keep it up. Keep those hands moving. Deep breath. Relax. Relax. You all right? You need to just... Start of round four, I was trying to listen in to what was told him after the third round. Teddy, he trails on your scorecard three rounds to zip. He's throwing a lot of punches, but he needs some better advice. Yeah, well, one of the things that he could be told, and I would tell him, is move after your last punch. Don't stand there and wait for the receipt. Big shot there. He is floored by a big uppercut. Ortiz is 
up from the knockdown. But what we really want to look for is how he reacts in the coming moments of this fight. Right to the body. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. And now that backhand, the straight left hand, scores well for him. You can see him timing that Come double on, jab to the head. Miguel Cotto's being so very effective, punching in combination. And that's what you want. He's got pretty good hand speed. Might as well use that hand speed. No better way to use it than putting them together. Good flush shot upstairs. And a well-placed combination by Miguel Cotto. by a well-targeted uppercut. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Miguel Cotto. That's a well-scored left hand by Miguel Cotto. Very good, steady double jab there. A solid true uppercut by Miguel Cotto. He comes back with the left hand again. End of the round there, a round in which we did see the knockdown. And Teddy, when a fighter comes back in the corner, having just been floored, typically how are they acting? What are you seeing on that? Just imagine you just walked into a room and somebody hit you from behind. You dropped. You're afraid to go in that room again. So put a light on in that room and explain to him why he got dropped. He will not be afraid to go back in that room. I need another round of like that, all right? Ortiz is heading out there for this round, hoping that his legs are under him the way they need to be. He was dropped the last round. Well, he's going to find out. See, that's oh, a good thing you just said, hoping. Well, he can't hope his legs are on them. He's got to find that out because if he goes out there and tries to use them and they're not, he's going to fall all over the place, and the referee's going to stop and his opponent's going to jump on him. So while the referee's counting, what he's going to do is three. Big shot. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? Miguel Cotto's opponent is floored. A knockout victory. Boy, was that impressive. By way of knockouts, your Miguel Cotto's your winner by knockout. Now, I think he was headed towards a decision win anyways, but what a good way to just put a stamp on his evening. Yeah, bring down the curtain and make sure that more people are going to be talking about you when they leave the arena tonight. That does it from ringside. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us.